Okay, we're on the last page, 819. Let's begin with the problem solving. So it says, refer to the figure at the right, which is this figure right here, for both 17 and 18. We're actually not going to do 18, but let's do 17 together. It says, the figure represents Kathleen's backyard. Use the distributive property to find the area of Kathleen's backyard. Well, if you know your facts really good, you don't have to use a distributive property. You could just multiply 12 times 5. And if you know the answer, go ahead and write that down. Or what I can do is I can sort of decompose this. I can write down 5 times 10. 5 times 10, that's 50. And then I could also do 5 times 2, that's 10. So if I add 50 and 10 together, I'm going to get the same answer as if I multiply 12 times 5. And the answer there is 60. So the area of her backyard is 60 meters. Very good. We're not going to do 18. You can draw a line through that if you like. Now, through for exercises 9 to 21, refer to the figure at the right, which is this figure. The figure shows the shape of a room. This is a composite figure, by the way, because it's showing sort of two figures put together. It's an irregular shape. Each unit, each one of these little squares represents one square feet. So what is the area of the room in square feet? And what I would ask you to do is go ahead and just count up these little squares right here, going all the way through each figure. So take a minute to do that. Okay, so if you came up with 16 square feet, Feet, you're correct and that's how many squares are within this figure so number 20 asks now what is the perimeter of the room in feet now this one gets a little bit complicated and what I want you to do is I want you to write down on your piece of paper the, the, the different sections here so this section here is two I'm getting that because there's two squares there and the section from here to here that's four, and the section going up is one, going across is two, going down is four, going across here is another two, up here is one, this little section between this and this, and then finally over here, we are at four. So you need to go around the entire figure and add this. Two plus four plus one plus two plus four plus two plus one plus four. And that's going around the entire figure. So take a minute to go ahead and add all those up. And if I do it with you, 2 and 4 is 6, and 1 is 7, and 2 more is 9, and 4 more is 13, and 2 more is 15, and 1 more is 16, and 4 more is 20. So the answer to the perimeter of that room in feet, this room right here, is 20. Very good. 20 feet. All right, 21. It says decompose the figure into two rectangles to find its area. So let's go ahead and draw a line right here to make these into two separate figures. And then what we're going to do is we're going to count the squares in each figure and add them together. So this one first, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might want to write that down somewhere so you don't forget. Eight. And now let's find the area of this figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's another eight. So if I add those two together, the area of this section from here to here is eight. This from top to bottom is eight. I'm going to come up with 16 square feet. Okay? So now what do we notice? We notice that the area when we just counted the whole thing was 16 and when we did a composite it was 16 
Meaning we're probably right because we came up with the same answer for both questions. All right, let's go to the test practice now, number 22. It says, find the unknown side length of the figure to the right. The perimeter is 26 inches. Well, guys, we don't even have to know that. We can see here, this is five, this is five, this is eight. So what does this have to be? Yes, obviously it has to be eight inches, which is answer B. So congratulations on doing a great job on the chapter review. I'll come on with some other videos for you later for the next chapter we start. Great job, everybody.